Now see a total energy in SHM. When a particle executes simple harmonic motion, it has got two types of energy. One is the potential energy and one is kinetic energy. Suppose there is a particle which is executing simple harmonic motion between these two points A and B and this is the main position O. Particle is displaced to this side by a small displacement y and a maximum displacement is up to this A that is amplitude. Then particle is start executing simple harmonic motion between the two points A and B. When the particle is moved to this side, some work is done against restoring force because of that particle has got potential energy and that potential energy can be written here. Potential energy is equal to that is u is equal to half k y square. Y is a displacement, k is a spring constant. At the same time, it has kinetic energy also. So, kinetic energy can be written here half m v square, but we have done formula for velocity v is equal to a omega cos omega t. So, we can write here kinetic energy is equal to half m a square omega square cos square omega t. Similarly, we can put here y, y is equal to a sin omega t for the displacement. So, we can write potential energy is equal to half and also we can put k is equal to m omega square positive constant. So, it is here m omega square a square sin square omega t. So, this is the first one equation for kinetic energy and this is second for potential energy. If you add these two, you will be getting the total energy. So, when you are going to add these two, total energy E is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy that will become half m omega square A square cos square omega T plus half m omega square A square sin omega t sin square omega t. Now, we know it cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. So, we can write here E is equal to half m omega square A square. Now, see here omega is constant A is constant. So, the total energy remains constant. Now, see here potential energy is given by half m omega square a square sin square omega t and kinetic energy is equal to half m omega square a square cos square omega t. So, potential and kinetic energy is are the function of time. So, by putting the different values of time that is t is equal to 0, t by 4, 2 t by 4 and 3 t by 4 and that is 4 t by 4 that is time. By putting all these values for time, we can get the graph and the graph is coming like this. So, this is here the kinetic energy, the dotted line is here shown here for the kinetic energy, whereas and the solid lines are shown here for the potential energy. So, when the potential energy is 0, kinetic energy is maximum. And when kinetic energy is potential energy is maximum, kinetic energy is 0. Similarly, here again when the potential energy is 0, kinetic energy is maximum, but total energy remains constant that graph is like this a straight line. So, we can also see variation of potential energy and kinetic energy with the displacement. So, when the particle is at mean position, it has got potential energy 0, but kinetic energy is maximum. And when the particle is at extreme position, it has got potential energy maximum and kinetic energy 0, but total energy remains constant. So, here on the x axis I have taken here the displacement and on the y axis I have taken potential energy and kinetic energy. So, at the mean position potential energy is here max, uh, the kinetic energy is maximum and potential energy is 0. So, this solid line is representing for potential energy and dotted line is representing for kinetic energy. This is the extreme position maximum displacement that is amplitude. So, when the particle is at extreme position, kinetic energy is 0, potential energy is maximum. Similarly, this side, when the particle is at the extreme position to the other side, 
it is again kinetic energy is 0 at this point and potential energy is maximum, but total energy remains constant. 